In tonight's Health Watch, the FDA is one step closer to approving a groundbreaking new treatment for sickle cell disease. And joining us now to talk about this is Dr. Kerry Marone, the director of the Pediatric Sickle Cell Program at Montefiore. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. So before we get into this new treatment here, if you could take us through what it's like for someone to experience sickle cell disease. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Uh, sickle cell disease is an inherited red blood cell disorder and patients that suffer from this condition have misshapen red blood cells that cause damage through all different organs in their body. They have frequent pain episodes. They have potential life-threatening complications such as strokes, serious bacterial infections, and ultimately they have a shortened lifespan. So it's very exciting there's a potential new treatment. So this new treatment, this new therapy per se, uses genetic modification, a genetic modification process. It's called CRISPR. So tell us exactly how this works. Yeah, sure. So CRISPR is a technology that basically snips a piece of the DNA in the bone marrow cells and allows uh, genes that um, are usually suppressed, which allow a different type of hemoglobin that will not sickle and, and change into these misshapen red blood cells to be um, increased. This process is, is very exciting, and the patients um, will have to undergo a change in their own genes. So you're basically changing your own uh, stem cells and then having them infuse back into your body after you've received chemotherapy and then allow a process for these new edited cells to grow. And so, Dr. Marone, what are you hearing about the likelihood of the FDA passing this, uh, this new treatment? And then not everybody would be eligible for it, right? Correct. So I think there's a, a very exciting and, and uh, hopeful chance that it will be approved. The um, advisory committee yesterday felt that the therapy was safe to administer. So that's a, a wonderful first step. And now they're reviewing it to decide if it will be able to be more broadly given to patients. Um, it's unclear the age range that the patients would be approved for, but um, we're hoping that it'll be individuals 12 and older, and right now be for patients that suffer from more severe uh, forms of sickle cell disease. As someone who's an expert in this field and treats patients um, suffering from this disease, how are you feeling? I am extremely excited. Our patients have been suffering for so long and had so few treatments that I'm so hopeful that this will be a new therapy we can administer yeah, for many exciting, patients. Exciting, hopeful news for such painful uh, episodes for people. Dr. Marone, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, doctor. Thank you very much.